What up you guys, Gabriel Ryder. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm back better than ever. Eating a lot of cheese, eating a lot of cheddar, all right? I'm gonna basically put a grip on for you guys. We're gonna go play a few holes, show you some of my swing, my pure swing that is. It's too good looking, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, changing my grips. I had some wind grips on there, putting some um, Golf Pride multi-compounds. I use these in the winter time, so. Basically what I did was, before, I got my old grips, got an X-Acto knife, whoosh, cut it, took off this grip, got the X-Acto knife, scraped off the tape, got some goo off, took the excess sticky stuff off, and then uh, now I'm re-gripping it. Um, I've seen people grip clubs with gasoline, uh, mineral spirit, solvent, I'm using hairspray, okay? $2.99 at your local drug dealer store, cheap as it gets, and that's why I got it. I have no money, I'm extremely poor. Please send your money to P.O. Box. Just kidding. Okay. So, got some hairspray. I I heard this works, so I tried it out. It does work, but it's extremely hard to use. It, the, the grip does not go on very s slippery, I guess you could say. So, don't use this. But I'm using it, but don't use this too hard. So, here we go. Um, I, use, I just usually uh, measure the grip, make sure the tape's right around that length. Um, I usually do two wraps. You know, you got to find out the size of grip that works best for you. Um, if you have too thick of a grip, you're gonna find it hard to release on the club. And if you have too skinny of a grip, you know it's gonna be easy to flip on it, maybe get some hooks. So find that uh, good grip size for you. So here we go, here I get some tape. Make it a little more even. Okay. Don't drop your club in the dirt. It's probably one thing you don't wanna do. Wipe off your shaft. Okay, here we go. Put it, um, yeah, just like this. Do it. Perfect. There we go. And you always want to leave a little more because you're going to wrap the tape inside the shaft. So that's how I do it. Double side tape. And just make sure you don't want any bubbles in there. So just put it on nice and slow, making sure it's nice and smooth, going all the way around. And almost done. So there's one side. Nice and done. As you can see, I'm pretty quick. I'm like a professional. Basically a professional in everything I do in life, except for becoming a success, but on my way to doing that, so. So here's one, did one side. Doing the other here. That's probably as good as you can do it. I mean, I was in golf gripping competitions as a junior. I lost every one, but I got good at gripping golf clubs, I'll tell you that. So, and here's the other one. Right there. And bada bing, bada boom. Man, that's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Not talking about the golf club, I'm talking about this right here. <laughs> Alright, so let's put that bad boy on. Probably gonna edit this out so you don't have to see me grip these clubs. Time takes a little bit. But um, here we go, put one side on. Now the interesting part's when I put it on with the hairspray, because it's it's not easy and it's Oh, it's tough, I'll tell you that. So here we go, that's one side. And take this off. And that's the other. So here we go, a little excess tape here. Let's see if I can rip that off. Okay, it's not good for the immune system, but it is, it is what it is. So here we go. Just wrap that on in there. Okay, there it is. Two wraps is good for me. I have big hands. You know what they say guy about guys with big hands, right? Well, in that case, it actually doesn't apply to me, sadly, I know. So here we go. Okay. I like to widen this in so it's easy to put over the golf shaft. Okay. Now this, boys and girls, is the scary part. Over here. You're gonna see what I mean by scary part. This is how hard it is, all right? Are you getting my face, cameraman? Am I in the picture? All right, good. I never want that out. People are gonna start going away if my face is in there. All right, so here we go. It's kind of scary, but see what we can do. Gotta put that in there. Okay. Okay. This is the 
tricky part. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. It's not down all the way. Oh. oh. Gosh, watch your hand. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Get the butt end of the club. Make sure it's down. Nice. See, it kind of stretches out a little bit, so let's put it back to normal. And as you can see, it's a little crooked. Oh, man, it's hard to move. <laughs> P90X, man, I gotta get back on that thing. I'm actually able to do seven full push-ups by myself right now after 90 days of P90X. I can only do six before I started it, so it works. It definitely works. And uh, that looks pretty darn good. It's probably the best one I've done yet, so make sure, you know, like I said, the grip's all at the bottom. Make sure you give it a couple whacks against the rim. And that's how you do it. Um, hairspray, grips, tape. Alright, we're going to go play some holes. Show you some of my swing. All right, here we are, beautiful Woods Valley Golf Club. Nice sunset over there. And here's a Blair Swing. Um, please, uh, parental advisory. It looks like, uh, kind of looks like an octopus falling out of a tree when Blair swings, but he does his best. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's right at the pin. If this is the right club, we're looking at a hole in one on film. Ooh. This could be hole in one. Uh oh. Wait, I'm still alive here. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. Is it working? Yeah, it's on. Oh, shit. 